And we want to make sure that these pieces where they come together, the angle lines up correctly and not like that. Now we're back to the piston here. This one is going to go in on top of the T-sail. And it's in. And then I turn it half a turn there. And this one's going to go on the bottom. Get it started and work it around with my finger. And our T-seal is in. And the retainers also are in. Next, take one of our outer wear bands, put in the first groove. And this is our energizer ring. This goes in the center, the rubber piece. And we use our wear band just to, as a spacer to get us over that first groove. Now our wear band's on. Now I have some hot water over here. It's very hot actually. And we drop the middle ring into the hot water to let it expand and soften. So we'll get it out of the water. And then we'll push it on with our thumbs. So we got it started down over our wear band. And now we have these retainers for the center ring. One side is rounded, one side is flat. We want the rounded side to face the center band. So we got that on. Again, the rounded side to face the center band. And where it's split, we'll put those on opposite of each other. So those are on. You can see the center band still somewhat loose there from being in the hot water. We'll take a ring compressor and put over it. And then tighten it down. And let it sit for one minute until that band reforms to what it was when we started. So it's been a minute. Our center band is nice and formed back to its original shape there. The retainers look good. So now we just put our wear bands on. And our piston is ready to go. Please keep in mind, I only showed you to put the T-seal in on one side, but it Another T-seal does go in on the other side also. So we'll take our piston assembly that we just made and put our new rings on here. Set it on our work stand. Get one of our ceramic plungers here. When we're putting these back together, we just want to look over these real close for any pitting or scratching. Uh, anything that makes them not smooth is a problem. So typically we, they're fine, but we got to look at them. Sometimes these change color a little bit also. Don't worry about color change. That's the only thing that matters is if these are smooth. And to put these in, let's put some hydraulic oil on this end. Push it in down on our T-seal there. Next will be plunger retainer. Goes down there. We got a big snap ring that goes on. Make sure we're down in the groove and snapped in. I like to squeeze it just a little and turn it. Make sure we're in the groove. We'll do our other plunger. Push it in, plunge your retainer, and then our snap ring. And the 
groove, a little turn, and it is in. Next, we have our low pressure cylinder. We're gonna set it on our table. On the intensifier workstand, we have a hole in the center cut out there, and that's for installing this piston plunger assembly. We'll start out by cleaning the inside of this cylinder. On, the, on new ones, it comes with a rust inhibitor, so we wanna clean that out. Using just some hydraulic oil, we'll break it down and you can wipe it clean. So once it's clean, we'll put some hydraulic oil in there and smear it around. Give us some lubrication for our piston when it goes in. We'll set her down there. Get some oil on our chamfered edge. And also we'll lube the rings on our new piston rings. We're ready to go in and try and line these up so they're 180 degrees opposite of each other. Now we'll just squeeze the wear band here so it will go inside of the low pressure cylinder. And sit it down in there until we get to the center band. And we'll hold the top wear band so as we go in it will go into the cylinder also. And dead blow hammer and we're gonna we're gonna knock it in. So we're in. I like to pound it down so we're in the center of the cylinder. So we'll set this aside for now. Putting this piston plunger into the center of that barrel and just makes it easier for assembly later. Next we have our end bells. And we have a left and a right and uh, this is due to the oil passages on top so we always need a left and a right. We're going to start by Putting in the oil seal in the center here. This is going to ride on the plunger and keep oil into the cylinder. Some hydraulic oil on these. And we push them in all the way down until they bottom out. And when you're looking at these, this grooved part needs to be facing towards the hydraulic cylinder so that it flares these edges out when it's pressurized. So some more hydraulic oil on this one. Push it in until it bottoms out. And then this is a spacer that goes between the snap ring and the oil seal. It goes in in either direction We'll do both of them. And next is our snap ring to hold the seal in. And again, I like to squeeze it just a little bit and spin it to make sure that it's in the groove all the way. Same on this one. So those are in. Next we have our outer O-rings here. We have an O-ring and a backup ring. And this seals the uh, inner diameter of the low pressure cylinder. So some oil on these also. The backup ring is cupped. And it, the cupped part needs to face the O-ring. So the flat part is going to go down when we're looking at the end bell this way. 